In this tutorial, I go over how to layer a unicorn on a cup. I used a unicorn SVG file that I had purchased online and I printed out all of the pieces separately. I was able to ungroup them in silhouette and then print off or cut each of them individually onto the appropriate colored vinyl that I wanted to. And then after they were all onto the vinyl, I weeded them all out and then I took my transfer tape, as you can see here, and pulled out enough that all of them could fit. And then I laid them down, and then I used that little squeegee that you saw me using to press them down and make sure that they were completely in contact with the transfer tape. Now I'm cutting them out, and I will cut them individually. I like to cut any excess around my cuts off that way I don't have extra that I'm fumbling around with as I'm trying to actually put it on the cup. I'm using a 20 ounce hog and the glitter color is misty pink um, which is also Pandora from Feather Bear Designs um, it's the same color and I already have one coat of epoxy on and it was really smooth coat so I needed just minimal sanding in order to apply my decals I did sand just a little bit and I do have a tutorial video on sanding that you can look up as well with my decals, I go ahead and number them on the order that I will apply them to the cup so that I don't get confused and use the wrong decal. So that's what you see me doing here. I actually did have the numbers on there and I cut them off when I was cutting off the excess. So I had to renumber them so that I could apply them. The placement of your horn is your most important piece because it's the base of your entire unicorn. So you want to make sure you get that perfectly even and your horn straight if that's what your design is. And so I just make sure that I have that and then I press it down with my finger and make sure that each piece of vinyl is pressed down all the way onto the cup and the epoxy underneath it and there's no air bubbles. My next piece is the back of the ears, which is the pink, as well as the little swoosh for part of the unicorn hair. And what I do as I'm applying it is I have the picture of it up in my silhouette studio and I'm looking at it and I'm comparing where like the ears, like the top of the ears are in correlation to the horn. That way I make sure that it's going to get applied in the appropriate spot. So that's kind of what I'm doing in the background here is I'm looking at the silhouette and I'm making sure that as I apply it, it's going to go in the right spot and so that my picture will look like my picture in my silhouette when I'm done.
and I did the same thing with the black part that goes around and it's kind of the trickiest part because of the narrowing on the outside of the ears and that it has to go completely around that pink part so I just want to make sure I get it lined up perfectly and then you also have the eyelashes that go over the little stars on the cheeks and so you want to make sure that you get it completely level and even with um, all of those pieces that are underneath it. Then once I get it down, I press it um, hard on all of the parts of the vinyl and make sure I've pressed down all of it. And then I just peel back the vinyl or the transfer tape. And then this is the other side of the hair, the little swoosh for the other piece of the hair. And again, I just make sure I get it lined up and I look at the silhouette to make sure my picture looks good. And then um, I press it down and then I pull back the transfer tape. The crown that I applied is the opal. It's the Cricut um, holographic vinyl or cricket, however you pronounce it. And it's a little bit trickier to get off of the transfer tape and the backing. Um, so I make sure I press it down really good. And as you saw, I use my little squeegee just to make sure. And then if you kind of pop up the corner of the actual backing of that, it'll kind of pull away from it. And then you can kind of pull it down so that you can get that opal vinyl off. Um, I've had a lot of questions about what that vinyl is, and it's the Cricut Opal Vinyl. I also buy from Swing Design, and they have very similar vinyls there, so I use both of those, and they both are very good. I like them both, but it is a little bit more tricky to use it. You just have to make sure that you um, are very gentle and go slow, and then just pull your backing off of it and make sure it kind of pops, and it'll kind of pop and hit your transfer tape, and then you can pull the backing off so that you can get um, the actual vinyl on the transfer tape. And this customer wanted her name in the opal vinyl as well to match the crown. So um, I'm applying the name on the opposite side and I always make sure that I do it on the exact opposite. So I'll look at where I have the unicorn placed and then I'll line it up on that little tray that I have. And that is just, I think it's Home Essentials tray from Target. And um, I, it's the perfect size for my cups and I can just set them in there. And then I can actually just stand up over it and apply my vinyl. So it works out really well. And you can see here, I'm just pressing it down. Um, that opal vinyl, like I said, is a little tricky. So you just want to make sure you have it pressed down so that it sticks to your cup. And then you just kind of pull it back. And there you have it. There's our little unicorn. And the name that matches. And the good thing about opal vinyl is that it changes in light. So as you can see here with the flash, it, it's actually blue. And with a flash in a different angle, it kind of looks more opaly. And then some of the angles look pink or purple. So it's a very pretty vinyl. As always guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and drop me a comment if you have any questions.